everyone! I'm here at the Gresford Miniature Railway to meet some mini steam trains. These trains are exactly the same as real steam engines, except much, much smaller. But that means they're really fun to ride on. The mechanicals didn't want to come with me today. They said they only want to see big vehicles. Those silly mechanicals don't know what they're missing out on. This is David and he's a model engineer and mini train driver. This is his locomotive and it's called the Royal Air Force. It took David 12 years to build this special locomotive and today we're going to send it whizzing around the track. This part is called the tender and it's where coal and extra water can be stored. Now that David's train is safely on the track, it's time to transfer it onto a steaming bay. This is where the fire inside the locomotive can be lit and the boiler gets filled up with water. This process is called steaming up. First, David uses this pump to fill the boiler with lots of water. The boiler is inside this part here. More water can then be poured into the tender to keep the boiler topped up when the train is running. Ready. And here's one for you, Gecko. Oh, thank you very much, Paul. Next, it's time to fill the firebox with coal. David has soaked these bits of coal in a liquid that makes them burn much faster. The fire is then lit from underneath the firebox. David builds the fire by shoveling more mini pieces of coal into the firebox. As the fire heats the water in the boiler, the pressure builds up and has to escape somewhere. And... Woo! There it goes! A quick oil around the parts and cylinders to keep everything moving smoothly and we're ready to go. David's friend Paul swings the track over and it's full steam ahead. Coal is the fuel for this steam train and David needs plenty to power the train around the track. A quick stop at the coal store to load up the tender to make sure we have enough coal for the day. To let David's train onto the main track, Brian here needs to change the points. He checks no other trains are coming, pulls these levers and the track magically moves all by itself. Green means go! Woo! Now David can whiz around the track. I can't believe the mechanicals are missing this. It looks so much fun. So, David, how do you drive a mini train? Well, first of all, you need coal for the fire. You put the coal into the firebox and uh, that makes the fire. 
and the fire boils the water in the boiler and the steam from the, the boiled water is then taken off down to the cylinders which drives the engine. And this lever is called the regulator and we just turn that and then the engine will start going forwards. Hey, mechanicals, have you been here all along? Do you want to have a ride? David, the mechanicals are so excited that they're letting off their own steam. Come on, mechanicals, jump aboard. Mechanicals love these mini trains almost as much as these children. Well, Mechanicals, did you have fun after all? Thanks so much to David and all the model engineers at Gresford Miniature Railway for teaching us all about these amazing trains. You can watch more videos from me by tapping here. And to subscribe to my channel, just tap here. Bye!